I'd like to talk real quick on emergency loading the 3030 rifle that is configured like the Mossberg you see here. Some 3030s aren't configured the same way. The Marlins I know have the side facing ejection port, so this might work not work too well for the Marlins. But for this particular gun that has an open top right here, this seems to work pretty good. So emergency loading, what I'm talking about is you're working through your rounds, you come to the last round and you realize I'm completely empty. There is no more ammunition left in the uh, tube magazine. So what trips up a lot of people is they think that you can just load the gun much like a shotgun. You take a round, just drop it in the chamber, close the action, and you're good to go. Well, that's not the case, especially with this Mossberg. The round, the feeding system, the elevator and such are set up where the round has to be at an angle like so to feed into the chamber. And what I'll do is I'll demonstrate. This is a live round, so got to be very careful. But if I just drop it in, like you would a shotgun, how people just drop the round into the chamber for a shotgun, and then I try to load, I just bind it up right there. The nose of the round is hitting the bottom of the chamber, and it's bound up. And just to kind of give you an idea on the angle that the round needs, you might be able to see how the round has to be angled up a little bit to chamber. Here, I'm trying to chamber this slowly because I don't want to fully load it. To chamber correctly. Now, one thing that I've uh, noticed, and I'm going to demonstrate this with an empty shell. You can see right here, it's an empty shell. When loading, I'll go ahead and turn the gun a little bit like so, so you can see. When loading, instead of dropping it in, thumb the, the rifle cartridge into the chamber. So what I'm doing is I'm coming up, thumbing it all the way in, so it's all the way in the chamber just like you see, then close the action. So there you go, now the gun is loaded. There's a round in the chamber, it's ready to go. Now I can focus on turning the rifle, topping off my tube magazine if I uh, so choose. So try it out. If you're going to do so, you are chambering around so, use a snap cap or an empty casing. Do not do this with live ammunition. I can't stress this enough. You do not want to accidentally or negligently, I should say, that's a better term for it. You don't want to negligently send around flying through the walls of your house or into your neighbor's home. You'll notice that even though there was a live round using this demonstration, you can tell I didn't chamber it. I was very careful not to chamber. I just needed to use, I don't have any snap caps, and for the purpose of this video, I wanted to use a full profile round just to show you what I'm talking about when the round doesn't feed uh, unless it's in the exact angle. So with that said, thanks a lot for watching. I uh, hope this video was useful to you. If not, I hope it was entertaining uh, nonetheless, and stay safe out there.